Our primary function, gentlemen, as the military component of UNTAG, is the monitoring of all hostile forces in the African country of Zimbabwe. Included in our duties is the rapid demobilization of all civilian forces, commandos, and ethnic forces, along with the dismantling of their entire command structure. Now, we're headed for a country that's been hard hit by a brutal, ongoing war. And what we got to remember is what we're dealing with here is a primitive people living in a desolate, unforgiving, uncivilized world, savage world, teeming with countless hidden dangers, everything from intertribal strife to malaria to free-roaming wild animals. no mistake about it, gentlemen, in this almighty battle for peace and stability, the eyes of the entire world are upon us. And that is our challenge. That is our opportunity. Arm weapon. Hold those weapons high, gentlemen. Keep your eyes on the bush. There could be a whole guerrilla army out there. Just wait to blow us away. Let's do it, man. Ich bin 
Go ahead, over it, sir. You need a doctor. Okay, I'm fine. How about a shot with your foot on his head? Please, people, please. What you see lying there is the Tsabarabas lion. Like the white rhino is threatened with extension, there's a $5,000 fine for killing one of those things. No photos. Just one shot, sir. Please. Please. Only one. I also want one, please. Thank you. Only two. Thank you. Don't come any closer. Those bastards don't die easy. And you put the foot on the head. Thank you. Pull out your chopper. Das Scheiße von das Lion. Ein Anfall von dieser Gutes auf dein Lohn und du willst keine Dogs mehr haben, das kommen zu puffen auf dein Gras. Ich hoffe, ich bin scheiße. Wirklich? Ah, genau. Wait a minute. You mean this is actually poo poo? Only ten dollars a bag. I'll take four. Yeah, yeah. Take four, Mabel. Four, Mabel. Four, Mabel. Good eye. Nigel Shardy, Australia. Hi, I'm Yoke from the Plus from Olam. Yeah, some guys have all the luck, eh? <laughs> Red Light District, eh? Yeah, we, yeah. No, yeah, we're famous for uh, that. Check your ass there, Vimba. Major's waiting for his trophy, and our boy's got to be out of the base by midnight. Bunch of UN soldiers moving in today. That's gonna be a hell of a boss up. You know then. Oh, that's like. <laughs> oh, here, look at that. You fresh air. Fantastic. Where's my mother now? Mother! Defend me, 
has never quarreled with the people of Namibia. But hordes of foreign humans can drive a man insane. And what's this crazy thing called love? And tell me who's to blame? Who's to blame? When does it snow in Zimbabwe? When Saddam Hussein wins the Nobel Prize. Quacko, you son of a gun. How are you doing, Major? What do you say? Great, man. How much do I owe you? No, you shot it yourself. It's yours. Call it something for old times. Thank you, man. Excuse me, what is this? Does he first play? I beg your pardon? How's it with the move out? No, it's going rough, man. Hardly arrived there already, a bloody pain in the ass. How's that? Shot one hell of a hole in my petrol tank down the road here. Just look at that. Oh, no, man. Hey, move. Excuse me. Do you please tell me, what is uh, this? Oh, it's ventilation pipes. There's bomb shelters down there. That's where people hide away from the war. There's still people down there that think the war's going on. Shame. Oh, no. This is too terrible. Kui, hello. You can come out now. Hello. Untag is here. It is peace time. See? United Nations Transitional Assistance Group. The war is over. You can come out now. No, no. No, 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 no. What do you think you're doing, man? There are people down there. <laughs> Whack the old diddle out, man. What a trimmer. Hey, ma. Hi, Sheila. Fancy a bit of horizontal jogging with old Nigel Shady? I sleep at night. With your non-stop boozing, it must be damn difficult to stay awake. Jakes, do me a favor. Another one. Don't be an asshole. You know, it's strange how your ass always starts buzzing every time I talk about your boozing. Doesn't that say something to you? Yeah, it says something to me. It says, take that dirty money of yours and stick it in so deep that it comes out of the top of your head. There to lie and rot under that ugly bird's nest you call a wig. That's the reason no woman will go for you. What man runs around with another man short and curly, sir? Duan, my toupee is my business, okay? And my drinking habits are mine. Quaha, with a borrowed bum fluff. You know you're actually right. It is your business. My aim is to get enough cash together to buy back past farm one day. <laughs> the farm's gonna be mine, old buddy. Even if I have to go and queue for it. And when it becomes mine, then you and this crap house can go and take a hike. 
If you want lang verloren, you're going to have to produce the goods. Produce them good and proper. Problem doesn't lie with who's got the goods, old buddy. The problem lies with who has got the balls. The one who's got the balls scores in much more ways than one. Blanker. As you were, Jim. For those of you who don't know yet, I'm Major Braddock D. McKay, your commanding officer. Welcome to Africa, your home sweet home for the next few months. My A to C is Captain Carlos Zapman. Zapata, sir. Captain Carlos Zapata. First Infantry Battalion, Guatemala. And I'm pleased to announce that Captain Zabata speaks over a dozen languages. Fourteen, sir. Big part. I speak fourteen. Fourteen languages, sir. Over port fourteen, fourteen languages. languages. Yes, fifteen, if she's including my own. Fifteen, you include his own. Yes, I used to speak four and twenty, but I'm forgetting some along Fifteen's the way. fine for the moment, Captain. Just fine. Thank you, sir. Now, you have any problems? You see Captain Zapata. He, in turn, will report them to me. It's not going to be easy, gentlemen, but I intend on running a tight ship here. Tell them that, Captain. Tell them this? Tell them what I just said. Oh, in English? No, I tell them in English. You tell them in, uh, say, Finnish. Oh. Okay, man. We finish. No. No, 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 no. That language, Finnish. Tell them that we're going to run a tight ship here. Oh, yes, sir. Um, <coughs> the major, she say... Nobody is here to have a ball. We're here to kick ass. in the hands of a civilian is a threat to the peace and the security of the entire region. All arms and ammunition will be confiscated and brought to the base. Is that understood? Yes. Patrols. Each of you will patrol your own specific section. A, right here, B, over here, and so on. Down to the outer perimeter, which is K section. Let's go to it, gentlemen, and good luck. Sir. Yes. Permission to speak, sir. What is it, soldier? Beg to report, sir, but my government have given specific instructions not to go in the bush, sir. Well, beg to report, soldier, but we already are in the bush. What do you suggest I do, send you back home? 
Oh, that would make me grateful most internally, sir. Well, if you can't stomach the bush, soldier, let me have those keys. We can't do it, huh? Then I've got just a job for you. As of right now, you're a full-time driver to K-Patrol. Driver? That'll be all, gentlemen. Okay, men. This me. I can't drive. Keep the peace and order. Whatever you do, you can't talk to the Hey, Bimba, man doesn't talk to a lady like that, okay? He's the only Cover talk me. this bird understands. No, but you don't say such things. Come, come. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, leave it, Nkoti. I need another untak like I need a bloody hole in my head. Make full, please. Good morning. Morning. I'm Untag. Sweet medical car. That's your problem. I'm on my way to the Otohiro in the Nordfeld. Which is the best road from here? The one back to Switzerland. Sorry? There's no best roads here, lady. They're all bloody bad. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. What do you want to make up in the Nordfeld? I have orders to monitor the health situation amongst the Avimba tribe. You're wasting your time. Those people don't need your medicine. Excuse me, sir. I did not ask your opinion. I merely asked you for directions to the Nordfeld. You can't just jaw into the Nordfeld like you're going on a Sunday afternoon drive, lady. You need a guide. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself, thank you. I have enough. Where did you get it in Hong Kong? Tough cookie. But not tough enough. Nigel Sidey. Good eye. I'm Tad. You ladies wouldn't be hiding any dangerous weapons up there, would you? Uh, sorry, ladies, you just... Shut up. up. It was robbing this bleeding couch. Any weapons, ladies? You sheilas don't flap your jaws much, do you? Do you flap anything else? Aye. Comprend, aye. No English, aye. Unlock it. What's that? Big off. I got back from Nam. I didn't get as much as a handshake. This time I'm going back a damn hero. She's for real. All oh, the diamonds real, all right. You can bet your ass on that. Two hundred thousand dollars. Maybe we robbed a bank. What do you think this is, Bolivia? Oh, she's Nambabuya. Yeah. Forget about the bank. You help me turn a quick two hundred grand. Ten percent of that diamond's yours. Only ten percent. Come on, come on. Cow 
cows and the bulls. Everywhere you look, there's just the cows and the bulls. Hey, wait a minute. There's more cattle in this country than there are chickens in South America. Cattle? You never see them before, sir? The answer's cattle. Excuse me, sir. Suddenly, without warning, you want to run to the north south. What about the business side? No business can run on an empty stomach. We short of cattle meat. I know an interfluzy who shot off a guide. You know, that was the very last thing on my mind. You know me, man. I fight a lion, but I run from a woman. Especially the one that sees into my heart. Your heart or your hand? Uniform November, do you read me? Over. Do you read me? Uniform November. Over. Sierra, Sierra. You'll never get her out of here. You'll have to get a tractor. Can you help me? You don't need a guide. Remember? Wait! Wait, you can't leave me here. Wait! Look, I'm sorry I was a little rude this morning. But you aren't so friendly also. Please, sir. Won't you change your mind? I never change my mind, lady. Okay? Please. left on that farm. You know those people? I ought to. It's our farm. It was our farm. I don't understand. It's a long story. But why would you sell a farm like this? We didn't sell it. My father died a few years ago. He put the farm in a trust. He knew one thing, and that was that me and my brother could never farm together. So he said the one that can come up with 200,000 rand first He's the one that can get the farm. At the moment, I'm renting a piece of the farmland for my cooker shop. And my Obud's renting the farm, trying to make a living there. He could have had a lot of money today, but he pulled it all through his poopo. What's a poopo? If you meet Obud, you'll see one. when he blows on the bugle. Not a bugle, it's a chimba, made of hemsbok horn and beeswax. 
Where is he taking them now? Just to a place where the felt is better. For the Uvaimba, the cattle is everything. The whole world turn around it. But Major, this one, she's the hijacking of the cattle. We're not hijacking anything. We've got the telex to prove it. I, I, I don't know. Ah, come on, Captain. There's all kinds of phony telexes floating around right now. Even South Africa's big boat has fallen for one. Look, it, by the time we find out we've been conned, that cattle's going to be all the way across the border, and you and I are going to have the money. But she's very dangerous. Yeah, well, if you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> Your name was Quagga. It's a tribal name for me. Does it mean something special? Lion killer. Ah, Mukuruku, metatitikom, bo. Mukuruku, no room, bo. Ah, ufikega. Unungu yaku. Ah, dokotel, abanjeva, untak. Dokotel, untak. He says his little girl is sick. Maybe you can take a look at that. Inga Leifson, pleased to meet you. I'd be glad to give you any medical assistance you may need. Rumbo, he got let the boy at the end of the edge. Ngum bagger, edge, 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 gui. Right to Kunda was on daughter of my pupu nas water. She's a bit hot. Pass me those pills on top. We don't believe in that stuff here. Only this. Two greens for a headache, three yellows for a fever, and four reds for a hangover. What? And I know what to put on that wood. Just leave it. Arun, Wang Shi! The car is going to be in the car. Kurkunda tsenge tsebele. Yenabu, yamchanda. Tuakuta njambe ruwedu. Yabu, nimeshe naku. Chomu mbo nimeshe nengkuni. Imlenze nbili, imfake nkoma. Hey, yanje uroa unu manje ka chichiko iyo chocho. Sisma. Kwaga? Kwaga? What on earth are you doing? Owa Roma Chichi Bula, Owa Roma Chichi Bula, Owa Roma Chichi Go away! We're talking to the spirits! Well, when you're finished, could you bring the water, please? Owa Roma Chichi Bula, Owa Roma Chichi Bula, Owa Roma Chichi! Yes, <laughs> again. You need to get the cigar. <laughs> what is that? Leaves of the Umapane tree. Best medicine in the world. Are you crazy? Burns like fire. She'll be okay in an hour. What are you? Some kind of homopath? Calling me a faggot. I'd like to stay here a few more days. No, I'm sorry. We have to go back early in the morning. Can't you come back on Friday? 
Uh-uh. Please. Thank you. What is she doing? She's putting on her perfume. Strange smell for a perfume. Uh, it's made from the carrots of trees. The women believe it makes the kiri rise quickly. Kiri? What's kiri? A kiri. It's a long story. Look, he's gonna shoot her. She takes that arrow out of her backside, and she holds it here by her breast. It means she wants him. If she doesn't want him, throws it away over her shoulder. Stick it for him. So romantic. It's... it's Cupid. I also think it's Cupid. At ease, gentlemen. Our next mission, cattle. We've received a highly classified telex informing us that a deadly disease is threatening the range cattle belonging to the scattered tribes in the northern province. Swift action to rounding up these cattle is absolutely vital. There you go, Bruce. Instructions from the top. Him, you poor boy. If you read it, you would understand. Two hundred thousand American. For this bunch of cattle. Thousands too much. Hundred and fifty. The owner wants two hundred thousand dollars. That's the best. That's the best we can do. So you tell the owner he takes the hundred and fifty, or we can call the whole thing off. I'll be in touch. I think she's a good idea. What? We forget the whole thing. We just take the money and run. The part of the sheet, she's hitting the pen. Are you out of your mind? That stone's worth two million in New York. Minimum. Now, you want to lose 10% of that? Yes, it's um, 10%. Drop the blatant parachute. Parachute? South Africans? One of you geese has just dropped his guts. I want to know who. We yuckers. Thousand pardon, but I have to go. Sure, sure you gotta go, mate. You better go bloody fast. Where the hell, Rashid? Excuse 
give me, sir, permission to use the toilet, please, urgent. The poop up a mirror, sir. I beg your pardon? Through the door. Over there. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Thank you. What a price you got here, sport. Any chance of exercising the owl bow joint? Give us an ice cold beer. Boy, how many blacks got any fosters? In this country we drink lion. I'm Miss Foster. Pardon? Sorry, Manier. Pardon? Um, this uh, Springbok trophy, how much does it cost? It's not a Springbok, it's a kudu. And it costs nothing. Is it for free? Yeah, free to shoot in the bush, if you can. Uh, sorry, uh, Manier. It, uh, it is not for me. It is for uh, one of my ministers in Holland, and he asked me to bring him the trophy back to the Netherlands. Listen, Mr. Uh, Van and Plus. Yeah. If it's not for sale, it's not for sale. Not even for Boris Becker. Boris Becker is not for us. Pardon me, Mike. That wouldn't by any chance be a gun, would it? No, Mike. This is a gun. No, no, God. Listen, Mike, I've got orders to confiscate all weapons in civilian hands. Hand it over. You touch this gun of mine. I blow your balls back to Brisbane. Bimba, hou die ding by de hand. Smaak me, jy gaat om dalk nodig kry. Ek sien jou later, ek ga die land erover loop al. Lino horn. You got lino horn. Go screw a porcupine. Oh. Lino horn. Oh, lino horn. Monster, eh? Face look. My friend, this is extremely irregular. Highly, highly, highly irregular. Did I get any for Quaha Robertson? What about Quaha Dracom? Look on Yan, I did a hand cut.
This? Untax. Took my cannon and blew up the place. Oh, shame. Old Quagha's little kuka is a cock-up. Shows you what they think of you, man. Just as well, Pa's not around to see this. Would have made him ashamed to be a robber, sir. Pa's dead. Leave him out. He may be dead, yeah. But watch out he doesn't come crawling out of his grave and tear up that lousy last will and testament of his. Go grab me a glass. I say it again. Booze gives you balls. Are you going to lose your balls and the farm, old Jakesy? Hop it, man. To me, it looks like your fat cash flow is down the tubes, huh? Ah, oh, don't worry. Your old brother will take over the farm. You ought to be an actor. I tell you what. Why don't you go and try be Rambo's brother? All you have to do is get a bandana to tie this bird's nest on your head. Ingeliefson, Untag. Untag. You carry for several time, but... No, you look at the arm later in Namia Vida. Ask you one time only. <laughs> Who sent you? Nobody, I swear it. And those cattle belong to a tribe across the border. You are lying. But you will tell the truth.
That's a bleeding coup, Dave. I'm a pregnant nun. You do that once again, I'll report you to the Major. Why are we stopping? Gotta pull her up. Go look for it somewhere else, my China. What are they trying to do? Larry fool, he wants the horn of the rhino. The horn? What for? It's a long story. Oh, I know. It makes the Kiri rise quickly. Better believe it. Thank you, Mr. Ferriera. Oh, Ferriera. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Pay him. Yes, By the way, you're welcome to the base camp dance Saturday night. Bring your friends. We all got something to celebrate. Yeah, okay, sure. Thanks, hey. Welcome to the world of the filthy rich, Captain. Just, we just send just over this 10%. You must stop it. No, no, please wait. You don't understand. <laughs> You'd make a woman very happy. You have a lot of good inside. Problem's not inside. It's on top. What? Yeah. Here, put this in the safe. Yes, sir. Yellow. Yes, General, sir. Beautiful. Beg pardon, sir, but I only reacted to what I believe to be instructions from the top. Yes, sir. 
No, no, I have no idea where the telex came from. No, sir. No. Shut up. No, sir, it looked totally authentic. No. No, sir. No. No! So everything she's beautiful. Don't worry for nothing. She's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's enough, idiot. Step aside. It's time for some major surgery. Oh, no, no, please, Major, I don't think so. She's a good idea. We killed the bird, especially if she's a woman. Yeah, and how the hell do you know that's a woman? Well, I can see the way she's, she's looking at me. You see that? She said, Major, please, I tell you, I will, I will get the diamond from the bird. I promise you. Okay, Zap, man. You got yourself 20 minutes. You got that? Okay, please, he tell Birdie, please, I'm asking you, please, to make for me the one... Little poo, okay? I'm going... Just, just... Okay, I'm going to tell you something now, like this. You don't go nowhere, okay, little bird? I'm going to come back. Okay. Your Land Rover is at my place. Oh, thank you so much. I'll fetch it. Well, see you sometime. Maybe at the dance. The dance? Saturday night. Oh. No, you won't get me at that dance with a bloody bazooka. Not even if I invited you? No, I've got a lot of work on my cooker shop. In any case, I'm not one for foxtrot and dirty dancing and that kind of thing. And you never change your mind? Not easy. Cheers. Thank you, Quagga. You're a star. <coughs> Brumis, what the hell are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> Your days of a wall are over, O city. Corporal Vimba Khamdak has official instructions from Captain Ravetse. From today on, it is DB. Dog biscuits and shut. Promise, you darling, we are rich. Diamond, from where? Promise, Pupo. Untax. That's why she was in a tent. Fuck the Untax. For six years, we worked our asses to the bone in search of 200,000 bucks. Then out of the blue, we hit a jackpot in a pile of bad shit. And all you can think about is the bloody hunter. Somewhere there's a hell of a long snake in the grass, and I'm gonna pull him out of there, belly. 
There's a untag looking for this diamond, and I'm going to find out who he is tonight at the dance. <laughs> Deputy Commander. Brigadier Ramswell, ma'am, we are indeed honored by your presence. Major McKay, our commander has asked me to convey to you his deep concern at your unauthorized and inept handling of what was obviously a bogus telex. You can expect a visit from him any day. Commander feels that all is not well at base 104. Nothing, sir. Not in all the ostrich sheet in Nambabuya. Sir, you dismiss Captain. It's just me. All is definitely not well at base 104. <laughs> Stupid man. Hey, I put my whole damn career on the line stealing those cattle to get this stone. I'm not gonna let it slip now. But I'm sorry, guys. It's not my problem. I'm clean. You've got your stone. I've got my money. Cheers for yours. Okay, I want the stone. I want it now. Sakamaba. Sakamaba. Damn it. You speak your language, boy. Boy, my boss. What? Yes, I do. Well, tell this lady that that stone belongs to me. Ienda operaze. Cirlunzim. No, Zim! Commander, sir, I will never 50 be... Fifty percent. Fifty percent? Shimmy shammy with old shiny. Oh, Come no on.
Dancing with that girl, I couldn't stop him. He forced me. Now, can you tell me why you're dressed like this? It's the only way I could find out things, and I did. You know who stole that kettle? Your Major McKay. Major Bradock McKay? Never. No, I can't believe that. Well, you believe it or not, it's true. Major McKay? I'll see you sometime. Cheers. No, wait. I'm going back to Switzerland. That letter I got the other day was from the University of Zurich. They're offering me a post. I can hardly refuse. Are you definitely going? Good luck. <clears throat> But I would have stayed if you wanted me to. Is that Untak Fruzi that screwed up your hair? That lets you throw away a diamond like it's a shit piece of glass? Damn it. Bad move, man. Shit. We'll see. Who's that? It looks like your brother. Go fetch that dress from last night. Go! Yes? Where do you say, old bird's nest? To the owner of the under, under mentioned property lang verloren. No, I say good luck, old buddy. Thanks. Just don't know what the police are going to say. Smuggling with diamonds, at least ten years. Complicity in the stealing of cattle, another ten years. No. Uh -uh. Where's the proof, old belly? Bring it. Remember last night? Kurikunda! Kiri kirikua! Wee! Sexy? Please, little brother. I didn't know they were going to steal cattle for that stone, I swear it. Leaves you at least with a minimum of ten years. Please? There we go. Jakesy, uh, and further do I, Doon Ignatius Roberts, agree to hand over 25% of lang verloren to my younger brother, Jacobus Daniel Roberts, uh, to, to correct my bad drinking habits and... Three, to never again refer to my younger brother, Jacobus Daniel Roberts, to pay as a bird's nest. <clears throat> and you agreed to repair my cooker shop totally free of charge? Yes, Jax. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh-uh. Weakness. For the blue shower? Dag meneer Van der Poes, u spreekt met Herman Schietekaat, eh, Nederlandse immigrant, woont afgelopen vorig jaar in Nambabwe. Meneer Schieten, hoe gaat het ermee? Heel leuk, ja. Ik heb het verneemd van de andere ontaaks. 
Daar heb ik graag de box, zal we wel schieten voor de trofee, ja? Ja, nou meneer Schietegap, dat is een droom, dat is een droom van me, heerlijk, heerlijk, van hier. Check in his room. Over there. Tell Quagga that I'm leaving for Switzerland today. My plane flies at two o'clock. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Holmes, Kiri. Excuse me. I'm doing Roberts. Oh, Quagga's brother. Yeah. You're the poor boy. Dat ben de gang speciaal voor de trouwen te schieten, ja? Nou, fantastisch. Meneer Schieter gaat deze dag wil ik nooit vergeten, hoor. Dat zal je ook niet, meneer Van der Poes. Dat zal je niet. Zeg me, Ferman, zijn er tijgers in de mat, hè? Geen tijgers, maar andere beeldsoorten al genoeg dragen voor mij, de ammen niet zelf. Door te vergelijken met de, met, de, met, de, met, de, met de regen of met de sneeuw dat wij in Nambabwe niet ervaren als we in, in goed mate als wij dat er komt. Kom, kom op, schiet op, man, schiet op. Ja, ja, dat is de politiek. Maar wij hebben toch andere dagen. Maar met die onafhankelijkheid op die grond worden wij dan al voor een vrije democratie. Ja. Zijn wij het niet mee? Bok. Neem op je geweer. Op je geweer. Neem je zak. Op je geweer. Schiet je. Ontspan. Schiet. Schiet de wat om mijn bak. Dat ben ik al. Ja. Schiet. Schiet. Ik heb hem, ik heb, ik heb de bok geschoten. Ah, tel ik gefeliciteerd, Job. Je eerste bok, eerlijk een landgenoot. Ik ben zo excited, Herman. Kan ik niet in mijn troofje gaan halen? Even wachten, Job, even wachten. Wat nou? Wij moeten eerst een aanvullig, echt, Nambabische traditie uitvoeren. Alvorens trouwen je persoonlijke en wettige eiendom werden. Schiet op. Oké, okay. goed hoor. Als zo ben jij, Joop, Hendrik van den Poes, ingesweerd als lid van de Nambabwische Groot 
wildjachters gelden. Hartelijk gelijk, oudsteen. Dank u wel, Herman. Laat me even de bok af te halen. Ja, wacht even om de bok af te halen, Job. Dat bent het tweede deel van de traditie. Je moet zelf de bok dragen. Je moet het zelf de bok dragen. Juist. Nee, maar Herman, wanneer moet ik de bok dan dragen? Dit waar je omheen bullet dragen, Job. Daag. Maar, maar Herman? Herman? Hoe is het voor een glijf, Job? Herman? Herman? Ik ben niet hier. Ik ken deze plek helemaal. Herman? Waar ging je bok willen? Ik wil niet bokken dragen in Afrika. Ten or cent, sir? You heard me. Now get out of here. I got work to do. Oh, sir, you tell me if I'm get the diamond back, I'm get 50 percent. Listen to that, man. You screwed every chance I ever had for promotion at that dance. If you think that plunging the deputy commander's face into a fruit salad earns you 50 percent, well, then you just got another thing coming. What a ritual, zegt hij. Traditie, nou, als je belief. Rond een wilde bos en af, dat vind ik helemaal niet. Oh, oh jeetje. Oh, vreselijk. Moeder, help. Help iemand, help. Help, help. Ik wil hier niet meer zijn, wat me stuurt. Ik wil hier niet helpen. Wat is dit? Rhino Horn. I know hold my ass, man. This is where my body lives. Shoo. Painful. Welcome to the world of war. Here for peace and not for war. Here for peace and not for war. 101, 101, 104. 101, 104. Very impressive, indeed. Very, very good. Strong young man. Good day to you, Sergeant. Good morning, sir. I would just like to say that I am deeply touched with what I witnessed here this morning. Thank you very much, sir. And I would like to thank you and your men for bringing to my country and its people free and fair elections. It's our pleasure, sir. I know this might sound rather presumptuous, but knowing the people of my country, Nambabwe, I can only imagine how deeply gratified they would be if you could chant something in their own language that they could identify with. Oh, it'll be our pleasure, sir. How exactly would it go? It means we are strong. And it goes like this. <laughs> United Nations multicolored condoms, the rhino hawk. Sir, you don't understand. She, your phone, she, she, she's gone. 
Jimmy gone. Well, the, the, the big bard, sir, she's come to the office and she take the phone away. Yes, no, no, sir, please, you, you don't understand. No, no, the, the other bird, sir, she's with the big <laughs> from, from the post office. She's come and take the phone away. You, you must come now, I promise you. Yes, come quick, I show you. I... Don't go! Please turn! And make a please
isn't it fair, sir? Fair? You're going to tell me what's fair? Stripped of my rank? Disgraced for life? That's fair? The only thing I got left in this world is this diamond, and I'm not giving any of it away. Not even 10%. Okay? I want half that diamond. Half? You want half? You greedy, greasy, sorry son of a bitch. All right. You want me out here in the middle of fucking nowhere to take the hardest stone in the world and break it? In half! It's a fake. Bugger. Hey! Okay. 